Good afternoon, from the newsroom, SDLP leader Colum Eastwood has called on DUP leader Edwin Poots to support the sensible solution being offered by the European Union on the Northern Ireland Protocol. It comes after EU Commissioner Maro Sefcovic mooted a Switzerland-type agreement on a temporary basis which would get rid of 80% of Czechs. Mr. Poots responded by saying he wants to see a permanent solution. Mr. Eastwood has criticized what he described as a knee-jerk dismissal of the offer and called on Mr. Poots to reflect on that choice. The SDLP leader said, by describing this solution as temporary, Edwin Poots is either ill-informed or he is deliberately ignoring the solution in front of him. This offer on the protocol is the first key test for the new DUP leadership. Edwin Poots has a choice, he can either work with us on this sensible solution or he can continue down the path of division, threats and political dead ends. Mr. Sefcovic suggested the temporary Swiss-style deal, where the UK continues to follow all EU agri-food rules, as a solution for me during an interview on the BBC's Andrew Marr show. I think it would be the right thing to do, it would calm down the situation, he said. He reiterated his opposition to a hard border on the island of Ireland and called for more cooperation between the EU and the UK. Mr. Poots responded. The permanent solution is to take the barriers away between Great Britain and Northern Ireland, and provide security in terms of the single market that goods that are entering the European Union from Great Britain have the appropriate checks. I believe we can eradicate virtually all of the risks to the single market by having checks on the goods that are going to the European Union based in Northern Ireland. That deals with the single market issue and it still allows all of the food and all of the medicines that are traveling to Northern Ireland from Great Britain without huge costs, £25 M per year, being added to the public purse. Another news. Since she first appeared on screens in 1996 as a news reporter on TG4, Galway woman Maura Darain has been a firm favorite with viewers. She came to wider public attention when she began hosting Ireland AM in 2004 and since 2012 she has been lighting up people's screens in the afternoon as one half of the hosting team on Today on RTE. Last year the 50-year-old took a step back and announced that she would only be presenting the show three days a week, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday to afford her a better work-life balance, saying, I suppose I was in a lucky position in that I could decide to work less. Promoted stories, I would say to women if they are worried about being less of a person because they cut back in their career that you are the same person without a career. Finally, sport, Ian Barraclough recorded his first win as Northern Ireland manager inside 90 minutes as they eased to a 3-0 friendly win over Malta in Austria. After Jordan Jones capitalized on a defensive mistake just two minutes in, quickfire second half goals from Gavin White and Ali McCann effectively ended the game as a contest. That's it, I'm back at later time of 6.30, Karen has the weather, for now, go fuck yourself.